So we're pretty much down to the, to the present. What are we going to do? Right? Uh, how are we going to negotiate the world? Well, I'll end up with, with Obama again. Right? Obama's the, the perfect president for white people, except white people didn't get that. Right? <laughs> Everybody black knew that Malcolm X ain't going to be the president, right? <laughs> and so nobody really believed all that stuff, why well, he ain't black enough. If he was black, he wouldn't be no, hey, come on. He ain't supposed to be black like that. He's supposed to be black enough, right? And he got a black wife, and he, got, he lives in a house full of black women, so you got, okay, the sisters got him on the check. So I ain't worried about his blackness at that level. Right? <laughs> so that, that's not the problem. The problem is he was brought in because he, in fact, is what the system needed. He's a technocrat. He's a very skilled technocrat. I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. <laughs> right? I mean, he's just what the system needed. He can go talk to the rest of the world. Right? and downshift America so that they can fit into the rest of the world, right? That's what he was brought in to do, right? Is there a black agenda? Of course not. How could he get elected with a black agenda? <laughs> you know, when black people had a black agenda, nobody voted for us. Like, why, why in God's name would he get there, right? But what we didn't understand was the strength of white supremacy in a segment of the white population, right? So you immediately get the initial response of white males when they're threatened to kill him, right? So gun sales go up, death threats are off the hook, right? And then you start, well, well he's not really one of us. And this takes uh, all kind of strange forms. You know, he's a Muslim. Well, he's a communist. Well, he's a so-and-so, but he has a Christian pastor. Well, I thought he was a Muslim. Well, don't worry about it. We'll throw money there together, <laughs> right? He's going to sell out the country to whoever, just fill in the blank. Right? Why is he apologizing? Because he's trying to make a deal, fool. You, know, you can't go around beating everybody. You've got to talk to him. It's his job. Right? The issue is, will enough white people in this country understand that? Right? If you don't understand that, then the continuing cost of white supremacy will be even greater. Right? Because the rest of the world is not waiting for us to figure out how to get along with them. Right? They're not waiting. 